close. So we learn how to validate and we put this functionality in the post right here in the uh, post controller right in the store method. So our post create was redirecting us every time we try to create a post without putting anything in there as you can see right here. Now the problem with this is it doesn't give that much feedback right we don't know what type of errors or the user doesn't know what type of er errors they're committing com uh, making so if they had you know a hundred lines of form inputs you know it would be hard for them to know which one is wrong so to display errors and that's what I'm getting at we need a functionality now when this automatically fails all these errors are going to be saved in a errors variable like this errors okay and that's going to be available throughout the whole application now this we need to create a group all right and I'll show you right now um, after we create actually as a matter of fact let's go ahead and do that right now let's go to routes right here on routes we need to create a group all right, it wasn't always like this. We didn't have to do this before, but each version of Laravel changes. So right now, currently in the 5.2, we need to create a group. All right, and if you know, guys, even if you are on Lecture 7, 8, or 9 version, or 20, or 100 version of Laravel, at the end of this course, I will always keep updating it. So that way, if we create another future course, it will be updated to the recent version that you know that is available at that time. Okay. So always look at the last lectures or or the sections that we say, you know, it was different on 5.7 or Laravel 6 was different. You know, you're gonna see those different sections when I update the course. I'm always gonna try to keep this updated as possible. All right. So we need to create a, a group and we need to insert here a middleware. Now we have not discussed about middleware yet, but just know that this is a security feature, and I will explain to you more about that later. But right now the middleware is web. Okay. The second parameter that we pass is a function, closure function, and then we bring it down. Now, this route right here, okay, would be, now this, all these routes would be available in this middleware called web, okay, and we got different kinds of middleware. This is a security feature for Laravel, all right? So if you have another type of middleware here, you can create your own, by the way. I'll show you that in, in you know, later lectures. But this is for the web. Everything that's going to be available for the web middleware would be available here. All right. Everything that we put inside. So if we had another one, and there is another one called auth for authorization, this would be more secure. This would be for users that are already logged into our application. All right. So right now I'm making this web available to everybody to everybody okay and this is just because we're creating a very uh, simple application I'm not gonna make users log in to do this now because we still have not created like a login application or login functionality yet okay so anyway let's go back to where we were creating so now this is available the errors array or errors variable is available to use all right for this routes okay so let's go and let's go to the create here and here is super simple what we got to do is do a couple conditions here to make this work okay so let's do if and let's close it right away so we don't forget and let's do a condition here so I'm gonna count I'm gonna use the, the function count from PHP I'm gonna say if the count of errors is actually more than zero I want you to do something right so let's uh, create a little diff here I'm gonna give it a class of alert then another this is a bootstrap class okay so let's create a UL and now we just loop through it we're gonna loop through the variable I'm going to end it for each. Yeah, I really don't like that indentation, guys. Really don't like it. But anyway, so we're going to save errors. We're going to loop through it. 
and I believe this is a old method as error there we go I think I'm doing it correctly I don't use it I don't do this much uh, like this by hand because I have a snippet and I'm gonna show you in a minute how to do that how to create a snippet in PHP store so that way you don't have to keep writing the same thing over and over because as you know we use a lot of forms right in applications so we're gonna display this error okay there we go alright I think we're good we're set let's check it out real quick alright alright so if I don't write anything you can see that the title field is required and the content field is required now of course we don't have the input for the content there we could if we want to uh, do that and that is coming from here so now if I do this we only get that one there okay and of course you can customize the rules and I explained to you about that before okay where well you can just put mats I don't know four characters or something like that so if I go and do this the title may not be may not be longer than four characters you see that pretty cool stuff with a simple little code right here you can make all that happen all right so now you know how to create all right this validation code and even display the errors already so you're golden guys you're really doing awesome if you're following me and you're learning all this stuff really cool stuff right anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next lecture